know the phrase, one apple spoils the bunch? Well, I think in this case, one clementine spoiled the bunch. Truth for Today by Mrs. B. Well, I know as Christians, we are supposed to love and be caring and show our light to other people, which we can do that. But when you're in a relationship and you have friends, somebody rubs off on the other person and they influence them. In this case, you can see this one's just about to be influenced and completely ruined as well. Well, the Bible says that bad company completely corrupts good morals. Not just bad company, it says evil men. And they don't just corrupt morals, they corrupt character, habit, and morals. And it starts that verse in 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Don't be misled. Don't be deceived. Don't think, well, I'm going to rub off on them. Because usually, that's not what happens. In fact, the Bible says that isn't what happens. Well, a Greek word for the word company. And there's three different types of companies. So we've got three here. There's the company that you associate with the person. So you go out, you have some fun, you know them. They're a little more than an acquaintance. Then, there's another type where you actually have communion with the person. I mean, you're close friends, you're buddies, you do everything together. Also, one other type of company, and that's like social intercourse, which is just like you're on Facebook together with each other, you can connect with each other. So there's these three types of company. And if you have a bad company, one of these people that you're associating really closely with is bad, you're going to be influenced, and in three ways. So this is the first one. This is how it's going to affect you. Your habits change. So, where you go and where what you do changes. That's what your habits are. You now go where they want to go and you do what they want to do. And you start to change. Maybe it's not, ooh, that's really gross. But then the next one is your character begins to change. How you act. You used to be kind and sweet and now you're kind of sarcastic and kind of can be rude and used to be positive outlook and now you've got a negative outlook because you rubbed shoulders with this person you now erode away and copy what they're like. And the last part it affects, not just your habits, not your character, but your morals. Now your morals start to change. The very fabric of how you think, the inside of you, begins to change. What you used to think was right and wrong. That's relative. Well, maybe I can adopt and endorse homosexuality. Maybe my ideology about abortion has changed. If you were raped, I guess you could abort the child. Or premarital sex. If you're engaged, it's okay. On and on. So you can't pick your family, but you can pick your friends and who you hang out with.